It is a great satisfaction to greet you and I hope you find yourself well, both you and your pet. In today's video we will talk about the following. Why do some dogs tend to bark more than others? Let's find out now. Why do some dogs bark more than others? I know that at some point you asked yourself, or maybe the doubt has haunted you, maybe your neighbor's dog barks non-stop when he leaves, or maybe your dog barks at him to every breeze or object he sees, shadow or someone's whisper. And then there are the dogs that hardly ever make a noise, seem mute or uncommunicative. You may love your dog unconditionally, but a dog that barks at anything and everything can be a bit exhausting. Nobody likes to be interrupted by the non-stop sound of a dog barking in the middle of the night, especially when there seems to be no reason for it to bark. So what makes one dog bark more than the others? Here I immediately tell you the three factors that could contribute to a dog barking at everything and barking more than other dogs. 1. Genetics and specific characteristics of the breed. Genetics and breeding for specific traits can play a large role in a dog's propensity to bark. According to certified behaviorist veterinarians, the frequency of a dog's barking can vary from breed to breed, and it all depends on how its ancestors were bred. Barking was emphasized more in some breeds than in others. Experts explain that this trait was likely selected by our ancestors to help protect human settlements. However, not all breeds known for barking will necessarily be loud. For example, terriers tend to be more vocal. But not all terriers bark excessively. Huskies and Nordic breeds are also known to howl more than others, while most Basenjis do not bark at all. 2. Environmental factors. Dogs get used to their surroundings and will react to unexpected sounds like a knock on the door, and ones they don't often hear. If a dog grew up in a busy city where he's used to hearing constant noise, he'll probably be less likely to bark in a noisy urban environment. But a dog raised in a quiet rural area may bark at any sound. A city dog would not react to a siren, police, ambulance for example, because it becomes part of the background noise, compared to a country dog, who lives, where things are calmer and less chaotic. 3. Involuntary reward when the dog barks. Some dogs learn to bark for attention regardless of breed. Barking is a response to not having their needs met. It is also said that barking can be a learned behavior in which the dog indicates to the owner that he needs something. It goes back to that basic reward behavior. Experts explain that dogs will keep doing something if they are rewarded for it. Many owners may pay more attention to the dog when he is barking, accidentally rewarding him for his behavior. For example, a woman who gives her dog a treat every time he barks, paying attention to her and satisfying her need for food, is inadvertently training him to bark. So what can you do to stop dogs from barking so much? To help curb your dog's barking, discover the root cause of the behavior. You need to find out what are the triggers for dog barking. Once you discover the triggering behavior, the best approach is to work with a dog trainer and veterinarian or veterinary behavior specialist to find the best ways to help your dog find alternative, more productive behaviors. You're going to have to be patient. Many dog owners will not seek help or try to work on excessive barking until it becomes a serious problem. At this point, it will take time, perseverance, and a good training plan to break the habit. Would you like to have more professional information, and especially updated about your dog? Visit the website below in the description of this video. Do not stop subscribing to the channel, comment, and share the video. You are very well, thank you.